हेलो हाय गाइस माय नेम इज सरवंश एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय द यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडेज ट्यूटोरियल अबाउट द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर एंड पॉइंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द हाउ टू क्रिएट एक्सक्लूजंस इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिफेंडर फॉर एंड पॉइंट्स सो नाउ लेट मी स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो so what are the content we are covering in this video what is the exclusion so we'll try to understand what is exclusion and why we needed it exclusion types what type of exclusion can be provided in mde uh, wild card in the exclusion so when we are pro when we are creating any exclusion policy what type of wild card we can use inside the exclusion policy and finally we'll create and deploy the exclusion policy on our the test machine and then we'll validate the exclusion whether it's implement on end user device or not so let's try to understand what is exclusion so exclusions used to exclude your extension process and the path from the microsoft defender scans so if you create any exclusion policy based on extension process or the path so your microsoft defender scan won't be scan particular that extension process or the path so it will be excluded from the uh, your scan so exclusions applied to uh, your scheduled scan on demand scan and always on the real time protection and the monitoring so if you applied any of the ex exclusions policy on on the device so it will not scan uh, that particular file or folder during the scheduled scan on demand scan or the real time protection so exclusion are process opened on uh, file only applied the real time protection so if you open any file then the real time protection will work on that so you should always alleviate the risk that are the associated with the implementing exclusions so you should be the make sure what you are excluding and you should exclude the file that you are confident that are not malicious so now let's try to understand what type of exclusions we have so we have uh exclusions that called extensions so we can provide the file extension in our the exclusion policy we can exclude create a exclusion policy based on the path like c colon example or any of the path you can uh, keep it there and the process based so we have three types of exclusion extensions paths and the processes now let's try to understand the wild card in the exclusions so we have the wild card asterisk so asterisk uh, when uh, how we can use the asterisk here i create an example so inside the file extension if you are using so suppose you have given the uh, uh, asterisk the star so c colon my data slash star dot uh, um, txt then it will calculate uh this value c colon my data uh it can be the notes dot txt or it can be a, any type of file name but the extension should be the dot text so it will take any type of file name inside the my data folder and if we are using an inside the folder name then it will be something like c uh some path slash star slash data so in in between these two folder some path and the data that folder and the subfolder automatically it will exclude so now here we have uh like a slash and the asterisk so c serve slash star um slash asterisk and the slash backup so if we are using this format that means is it will include any file inside this serve suppose we have a folder like primary uh, denied uh, these two folders comes in between for this this asterisk and the another asterisk and it will take or uh, any of folder comes under in between these two path so that that will exclude from your the exclusions now let's go to the another wild card exclusion that is a question mark so if we are adding the question mark in our the exclusion how we can use that so in the file extension how we can use it so c colon my data slash my 
question mark dot zip so if you have this uh, any file name start by my and it's ending by dot zip it will exclude all the files but it should be under the my data folder in the similar way we have the folder extension so if we put it some path slash question mark slash data so it will take any of the folder comes in between your some path and the data folder and here again we have the asterisk and the slash used how we can use it so here we can test zero question mark slash data and then it will calculate uh, the, this file folder name so if we have test one test two test three and then we have like a data so it will exclude all the subfolders let us go with the wildcard uh, exclusion in your the system environment variable so sometime we are giving system environment variable in our the exclusion so let's try to understand it if we used a percentage app data percentage then it will uh, um, take it the value c windows system 32 config system profile app data and roaming so instead of typing this complete path you can just mention percentage app data and uh, the similar way if after that i am using the microsoft so it will uh, add slash microsoft so these are the variables uh, these are the system variables which we can utilize and use in our the exclusion policy so let me go to the next let us move it to the practically lab here and then we have some the validation and we have the final slide so i am with the uh, my intune console so let's log into the intune console go to the security endpoint security and the antivirus and here let's create the policy let me go here and uh, select the policy windows 10 11 and the windows server and here uh, it's named by the microsoft defender antivirus exclusions so let us create here now here i am putting like a uh, exclusion policy uh, for testing oh, come on okay so e something goes wrong okay so just let me put it in that way because it's not taking that e button so now let me go to here the next and here we have the options for the extension path and the process which we learned in the slides let me on this and how we can define this let me go to the slides and just we can give library object or abc anything whichever the file extension you want to use it here so let us define in that way or let me the copy paste it that would be the better or if you have the, some more file you can add here and you can add the multiple file exclusion if you want to add in the same line so you can use this or you can use like this as well you can go here and you can use any of the way whichever you like abc i can mention it okay so this is ready now let me configure the path so any of the system path you can go to the system file uh, system path and you can assign it here so just let us go for the c example or the example one i'm excluding this and the process anything you can take it related to c colon example.com i now go to the next scope i'm not going to assign any of the scope right now let me go to the next and now here is a assign to your uh, your task group where you want to deploy it so let me go to the another console so here i have created a um, defender exclusions and where i added my the test machine so let me go here under the members so i can show you what are the members are here 
so this is the members this device I added here so let me include this defender exclusion and now next and we are ready with the policy now create and it will deploy to the test machine let's move it to the test machine now and see whether this policy is implemented or not so here we can get the track like pending update uh, pending full so here is uh, some updates about your the um, antivirus but if you want to check the policy details whether it's applicate or not just click on that and here we have the track where it was implemented or where it's got failed so let us move it to the test machine policy and we have to just sync the stepwise so now go to the setting and it will take a couple of minutes to reach out the policy there go to the accounts go to the work or school accounts go to here go to the info and just sync the or the device policy so once the policy is replicated then the our the ask exclusion will implement it on this test device and then we have the final validation to be make sure that our exclusion successfully implemented on the device so it got synced and uh, still i think we need to wait some more time might be to receive the policy or not so meanwhile let me open the powershell and let's check the our command which is used for this validation so here is a command which we can use to test the validation whether our this exclusion is working or not so let me open the powershell and uh, here is a condition like we should have for the admin rights yes it can run without the admin as well so let me go and just test it okay so it has the must for this admin right it won't be work let me open this with the admin right powershell isc so run as administrator fine now let's run this so still we don't have anything here why because i think the policy has not replicated here so let us sync it again or wait for the couple of minutes so let me sync it again once the policy is reached we can validate with the command line okay so let me run this again so still it has not there let me try to run this nothing is here okay just we can wait couple of minutes or we can reboot the machine then the policy will implement on this machine okay guys so device has synced now and let's try uh, with the script so now here you can see in the uh, our exclusion what it is showing so it's the extension what we assign the path what we assign so we can get these details so if we need some more detail let me uh, check dollar dw ddaf dot what else we have so exclusion exc exclusion file path and let me add the process as well so now let's run it so we'll get the all the details so process what we define it is a example.com folder this is the folder and these are the file extension what we assign here so guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video